This is 1972 Lincoln Sand with double dial burst, graded as MS67 read by PCGS. According to Heritage, only, only the 1955 and 1969 as double dial sands are more obvious than the 1972. These amazing super gem exhibits fiery orange mint luster with reflective surfaces and eye appeal galore. The word liberty is also doubled towards the south, the words in God we trust on the obverse are also strongly doubled towards the east. It was sold for $12,925. This is 1966 Washington Quarter in mid state 68. The 1966 Washington Quarter was struck in staggering numbers. Our numismatic interest in the issue as a whole was generally non existent until the recent escalation of registry set competition. Decades of commercial use reduced what might have been a universal common coin to one that is conditionally rare in topmost grades. PCGS reports six coins in MS68 with just single finer. It was sold for $5,760. This is 1936 Lincoln Cent with double dial verse, graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. According to Stax Power, the lustrous deep mint red example with bold golden red surfaces. The strike is sharp, and as expected of the assigned grades, there are no serious blemishes noted. Doubling plane at date, liberty, and all peripheral legends. One of the boldest of all double die varieties in numismatics. Not so bold as 1955 double die of burst scent, but not far off that mark. It was sold for $4,800. Here is 1921 Buffalo Nickel struck on a scent planchette. This error coin was cleaned according to PCGS, therefore, assigned and uncirculated details without grade by a grading service. Due to significant size difference of planchets, letterings of obverse are struck off the flan. This elusive nickel was sold for $3,120. This is 1945 S. Jefferson nickel in mint state 68. Both sides exhibit subtle but colorful oil slick patina that is accented at the selected border areas by some deep russet brown toning. Although not quite full at the center of reverse, the strike is well above average than that often seen on 45S nickels. As dictated by a super grade rating, there are no marks or other surface distractions. It was sold for $1,320. This is 1965 Roosevelt time struck on a 90% silver planchet, graded as AU55 by NGC. This is one of the most popular wrong planchet errors in today's market, a transitional one that involves a 90% planchet that the mint ceased using for regular Ishi dime production in 1964 with 1965 dated dies from the first year of regular issue, copper nickel clad coinage. According to Stax Bowers, otherwise properly struck, although accuracy does compel us to mention trivial softness of detail along the left of words and upper reverse borders. Boldly to sharply defined elsewhere with bright, brilliant white surfaces that retain appreciable mint luster. It was sold for $7,800. This is Bicentennial Canada of Dollar. 1976 S 50 cent piece in MS69 condition. The nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time, and special reverse designs for the quarter, half dollar, and dollar were created to mark the occasion. The coins all showed a dual 1776-1976 date on obverse. The half dollar reverse was Independence Hall, as centerpiece was designed by Seth G. Huntington. In addition to a regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. These magnificent silver-clad MS69 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $9,600. Here is 1950 D. Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. The 1950 D. Franklin half dollar is a well-made issue with full bell lines coins being plentiful in grades as fine as MS66. However, this superb gem example is major rarity with only six specimens in this grade reported by PCGS with non-numerically finer. This piece displays vibrant frost mint luster rolling across sharply defined motifs and pristine surfaces. Deep amber russet olive green and golden toning encompasses each side. Eye appeal is just outstanding. It was sold for $13,200. This is 1979 Lincoln Center MS68 red condition. 
The Philadelphia Mint coined 6 billion Lincoln cents in 1979, yet only 12 pieces have been similarly certified at PCGS. This glowing orange super gem has, been, has both design motifs with frosty luster and sensational eye appeal. It is destined for the finest collection, $5,462.50. This is 1968 D. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. The 1968 D. Washington Quarter has the lowest mintage for any circulation strike quarter struck from 1965 to date. Although it has the lowest mintage, it is still fairly common, and examples can still be found in circulation. In MS68 conditions, they are almost unheard of, with only 14 specimens certified by PCGS and none being graded finer. And none graded finer. This one was sold for $5,510.25 with buyer's fee on September 3, 2023. This is 1924 D. Lincoln Cent in MS65 condition, initially certified by PCGS and approved by CEC thereafter. Iridescent pinkish rose and steel blue undertones pierce through an overlay of medium copper patina as the surfaces rotate under the light. Boldly struck throughout a very unusual characteristic of this often weakly defined date, a smooth satiny gem that makes a very positive impression on the eye. It ended up selling for $2,880. Here is 1957 Lincoln Centenama 67 plus red condition. According to NGC, like so many issues of 1950s, a very high mintage has left the 1957p cent quite common in fully red gem condition. Still at MS67 red level, examples become scarce. The usual culprits are tiny black spots called fly specks and slight staining or toning streaks. This allows the specimen display where it needs service preservation and striking level though. Grade was later proven by CEC. It ended up selling for $21,947.62 with buyer's fee. Here is 1951 D. Roosevelt Time in MS67 condition with full torch. Virtually pristine and conditionally rare for the issue. As such, the superb gem exhibits lovely obverse toning in iridescent sandy apricot, salmon pink and champagne gold. The reverse is essentially brilliant and both sides possess a full endowment of Smooth satin luster. It ended up selling for eleven hundred and ten dollars. This is nineteen fifty six Jefferson Nickel in MS sixty seven plus condition, with five full steps, according to Jaime Hernandez. There are about nine different dates in the circulation struck Jefferson Nickel series with with mintage under ten million. The nineteen fifty six P Jefferson Nickel has a mintage of over thirty six million, making it one of more common dates in the series. This full steps gem ended up selling for two thousand and eighty one dollars and twenty five cents with buyer's fee. This is nineteen seventy seven Washington Quarter stuck on a silver plat planchette, graded as SP sixty one by PCGS. Simply put, this is one of the most significant mint errors. Whereas 1977 D. Washington Quarter is a copper nickel clad issue, this piece was erroneously struck on a silver clad, aka 40% silver planchet, used for the sum of the San Francisco Mint's bicentennial issues of 1976, a transitional error and a term reserved for a special types of wrong planchet errors that involve coins struck on a planchet from previous or following years' production involving a chance in a metallic composition. This specimen was sold for $12,000.